Hey, I am in Stockholm, Sweden, with one of my great friends, John Buskell. And I know a lot of people in the GROW community have been so excited that I'm going to meet John. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people have written John and said, oh, you're going to meet John. You're going to meet Mark. Give him a hug. He hasn't done that yet. But, uh, and I'm hoping that maybe he won't. But, uh, but I'm so excited to finally be able to meet John. John and I have probably been connected two years, I'm thinking, and we've collaborated on a few things and helped each other on a few things, but I can't remember how we got, do you remember how we got connected? Um, I, I think I was reading something on Chris Brogan's blog and you'd left a comment, and oh, I, clicked, really? I clicked through to your blog and I, and I saw this funny green colored sign with a picture of a guy in the sidebar and I thought, oh, you know, who's <laughs> oh, this? Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I, I just happened to drop the RSS feed into my, my newsreader. Yeah. And for some reason, because I put them in a, you know, something that's there to begin with and to check them out and it sort of worked its way to the top and I, I kept ah, coming back great, there. <laughs> as it should be, as it should be. So that's how it happened. Now we know why John is so smart <laughs> and why I like him so much. But, but John and I, we have become uh, great friends, and, I, and, sure. and John has been on my blog, I've been on his blog, and he's one of my favorite bloggers in the world. So, you know, I guess I'd like to hear, John, uh, I mean, here in Scandinavia, you mentioned to me you're perhaps 18 months behind uh, where America might be as far as social media marketing. So what's it like being a, a, really a pioneering voice, one of the few social media marketing bloggers in this region? Uh, how is that for you? Um, it's difficult. I think it's difficult because um, here in Scandinavia, we're a small area, so most of the conversations take place in Scandinavian, in the Scandinavian languages, in small communities of people that already know each other. Sure, if you're writing in English, mm -hmm. people are interested in what you're saying and look towards America, yeah. but really, I mean, if I look at the States, you know, you've got the Chris Brogans, the Jay Bears, the Ginny Dietrichs, the Mark Schaefers, mm -hmm. you get a lot of traffic. Scandinavia, we don't have that. The top Scandinavian bloggers will hang out on the top American sites. Yes. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's going outward rather than in. Well, it's interesting. If you look at the Ad Age 100 blogs, there isn't anybody. There, really, maybe there's one or two from Europe. You know, literally nobody from Scandinavia, so it is. Now, you write your blog in English, is that right? Yeah. Now, is that okay? I mean, to establish your foothold here, uh, is, is an English uh, language blog uh, going to work for you or against you? Um, I think it works both for and against. Uh, it works for me in the sense that it's brought me business from across the seas outside of Scandinavia, outside of Sweden. How about that? Um, but also from the other Nordic countries, because yeah. although we speak, um, Sw Swedes and Norwegians will understand each other. Um, the Danes often will prefer it if we speak English here to, to understand each other. So it's not a hindrance to doing business. Also, the English is the business language of a lot of Nordic companies. Yeah. Um, so that's a, that, that, it does work, but it also works against, because if you blog in English, um, it's like you're not part of the downtown Stockholm set of bloggers. Interesting. It's a very small community, everyone knows everybody, and if you're not participating in that, if you're not commenting, then it's hard to exist. So yeah. I, I personally, for my goals, for what I'm trying to achieve, would rather work on a, <laughs> a global platform than a local platform. Well, I mean, I think that's a great point because, I mean, uh, honestly, I mean, you, you just seem to be beloved in the United States. You've connected with people in the United States, and I know there's... You, know, you meant you know, Ginny and Jamie and, and uh, I guess Jen, Jen Winham. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you kind of have this fan club in the United States that it's great. I mean, and, and the same thing has happened in the opposite direction for me. Obviously, the reason I'm sitting here with you today is that we connected through the sure. blog. It never would have happened any other way. So it's really exciting to be able to connect on this on this global level. But I mean, I think people in the United States, uh, it, it's it's amazing how you've been able to connect there. I mean, I think that's really, I mean, I'm really just touched and I'm, I'm amazed that so many people reach out to me from across the States, uh, from across the Atlantic. I think one of the things I've discovered is that through social media, through content creation, it works across long distance. Here, if I want to get a client, one of the easiest ways is to meet them in person. And I think this is one of the biggest things that we as practitioners working in, in this industry have to face is that word of mouth, face-to-face, -face, 
still works. It's sure it still does. a central voice. Sure it does. Sure but, it does. But, but what uh, online communications have given me as a business owner, and one of the things that I try to bring to other businesses, is it's a great way of extending your reach, of coming into contact with, contact with new ideas, new attitudes, new ways of thinking, which permeate into the local environment. Mm -hmm. Swedish businesses are doing business in the way that Americans are because they're seeing how social media is working in North America. Such an interesting point because we had also talked a little bit about um, uh, how it's dangerous to make the assumption just because it works in America, sure. it's going to work in another place. Sure. So what's your forecast? I mean, is this going to be adopted? You, you know, if, if you're 18 months behind, is it going to be adopted in the same way or is it going in different directions in Scandinavia? I think we're behind on, at the smaller level uh, with smaller B2B companies. So much of that is done through the networks, the people know each other. Where it's really taking off is at the much bigger corporate level. For example, the, 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 the train company here, the National Train Company, has been, excuse me, has been on Twitter for like three years. And if you tweet them, there's a good chance you'll get a response. Outstanding. I mean, and that's amazing that you can talk to the main train, you know, the national train company mm -hmm. through Twitter from yeah. Stockholm Central. I mean, that's awesome. And, and state uh, of the art. State of the art. But yeah. what is interesting is whether smaller businesses, that those networks will change instead of who you went to school with, because it is a small city yeah. and it has been very much this old school network. Yeah. Interesting. That that will change as Swedes go outside of Sweden to Very study, yeah. to, to connect. It's, I, I it's, 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 it's disintermediating relationships. You know, very, very interesting. Changing the game as far as how people connect. And again, it gets back to this idea of how you and I connected. We never would have connected without the Twitter blog uh, type of thing. And uh, so that's very interesting. Well, John, it's been such a pleasure getting to meet you finally. How can people find you on the web? And of course, John is just such a fine blogger. Uh, Thank you. One of, truly one of my favorites. And uh, how can people find you on the web? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at twitter.com John Buskell, J O N B U S C A W -L, L. Or they can just find me at my website, which is jontusmedia.com. And that's J O N T U S media.com. Okay, great. Thanks, Thanks John. Mark. Okay, Thanks. great.